Hey guys, it's Robert. How you doing? We're still doing our social distancing. So just like everybody else is doing, we're doing a little home improvement. Well, we're going to do a little RV improvement. Stick around. We love cooking in our RV. So something that we've been wanting to do for ever since we bought it back in November of 2019 was put a backsplash behind the stove and the kitchen sink so that's what we're going to tackle uh, today Sherry and I have already picked out what we want to use and it's this looks like stainless steel uh, tiles we're going to use those it looks really cool and let me show you what it looks like up there that's what we're thinking and over here by the sink, we've already primed. I've already went out and got a primer. Primer for all surfaces. So the material back there is a, a type of a fabric or textured coating. Uh, let me show you what it's like I show. It's right here. It's really kind of smooth and kind of slippery, I mean. Not really smooth, but slippery. So we want to prime that surface so this peel and stick stuff We'll stick to it. We don't want it to fall down when we stick it up there. So I've already applied primer to the area where I'm going to put the peel and stick tiles. I removed the cover plate for the outlet and removed the outlet and pulled it out and painted around it with the primer. So we're letting that dry. It's dry, but it says something about an hour so we did it about 30 minutes ago so we're gonna let it dry more and then do this area we're gonna do this because we know water splashes here and, and the silicone is pretty good but we want to make a decorative uh, accent one thing you want to consider when you're buying a backsplash is how are you going to cut it because you've got to cut around corners and around outlets um, light switches whatever you got to consider what you're going to have to use to cut it. So this one, actually you can use a utility knife, but you're really going to have to uh, press pretty good and get a straight edge to cut through. So that's one thing that makes this fairly easy is you don't need any special tools. Uh, some of them are made out of vinyl, so all you can use is you can just use some scissors. So it's something to consider before you go and buy uh, a backsplash uh, when I'm gonna start I'm gonna start right here up against this wall and and move around so in order to do that I need a straight line so here we don't have a straight line we got little jagged areas so they can uh, when you lay a another panel to it they can like interlock to make it look uniform So that's what that does. So I did a little sample cut right here to see how difficult it was to cut it. It's not easy, you know, you know it's not like cutting a piece of paper, but it was a, I was able to, to cut it with a utility knife in a straight line. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get my straight edge and lay it across here. So we'll have one straight line and then we can put it right up here and start another nice thing about these peeling sticks see how they can bend you can actually decide oh how, how how tall I want it and fold it over at the joint or the piece you want to end it on now I want to cut this in a straight line so I have my straight edge but I don't want to scratch this metal so I'm gonna put this piece of paper right here to protect that metal and then I'm going to put my straight edge on it and that will keep me straight and protect the metal from getting scratched so let's give it a try we don't want this to move once we start cutting so I got my knee on one side my hand on the other so 
So I'm just going to put a scratch here first. Now they do put in the directions to to uh, scribe and break it. So I'm going to make sure I scribe it really good, put a good mark on it. Now I'm not a professional tiler. I'm pretty decent at piecing things because I have a roofing background and piecing shingles together but they're not the same as cutting tiles. So I'm not a pro. So what I'm going to do now, see if this works. Put this underneath. Ah, I see here my straight edge moved a little I'm gonna have to come back that's not good straight edge moved a little there so here I'm gonna put the straight edge right at the brake line and see if I can yeah like that that did good like I said there's a problem right here because now I got two cuts the one I want to cut is farther out than the one I want so I don't know if I can come back from that one might have to use a Dremel to get that to go straight but so far this is good so maybe I will try another tool to put pressure here maybe even a little tap of a hammer let me get my hammer That worked. Yes, that's working. So I'm gonna take this back, put the straight edge along here, and recut these. Hopefully, get maybe we got. I can fix my mistake. I think that worked. So now, get rid of this, lay this here. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. All right, so now we can trim this. Let's see how that works. Not bad for an amateur. Put on my first piece. Looks all right. Again, it's not done while the camper is being assembled, so that would definitely help to get molding around everything. You know, it would take major modifications to make it look like it was installed originally, right? So we gotta settle for what we can do. So far, first piece is in. Let's go for the second piece. Let's see here. Can we get a second piece in? Yes, we can. And 
then you see the detail that's going to be needed there. All right, what I did is I, I took the whole piece, put it up here, measured where I needed the last piece. This piece of backsplash was too high, so that's kind of neat about this because they're sectioned. So I just took out the little section. I took out this little section and laid it right there. So when it comes time to fit that piece in, I can cut it custom around this little trim to make it to make it fit. So now this, I got to cut this edge right here to make it straight. So that's what I got to do now. All right, this piece is going to go here. So we're going to take the backing off and put it up there. Couldn't get my hand behind here because of this uh, stainless steel hood to pull it back off again. So almost had a stuck mistake. All right, now we gotta cut this little guy to make it fit in there. It's gotta be a little bit cut out right here for that trim. A little trim piece. I got a Dremel to do that with. Then I need to finish these corners. All right, so I need to piece these in and I have some scrap pieces I can use to piece this in. These are whenever they're long enough. And that's kind of cool, you can put them in one at a time. I also have these snips. These are for cutting tin. I, got, I was a roofer so I have these for cutting edge metal. So let's see if this works. Oh yeah, let's peel the backing off and stick that on. All right, we got another long piece right here. We can cut the next one, and so forth and so on. It's the next day, uh, and I'm back at it. Sherry's here. We're getting the camper ready uh, for our next excursion, which is going to be in a week. Yeah. So we'll tell you about that later. But as I continue to work on the backsplash of the cooking area, I got the one side done, except for the last final piece, which I was kind of kind of tell you exactly how I did it. So I, I put my piece up here and did some did some marking to how I need to make this little arch. I just got a the old Dremel. We got this battery operated Dremel. It works really well. I got a little kit for I forget how much this was, a hundred dollars. It's got a lithium battery rechargeable Dremel. So it's kind of nice. It's got variable speed. So you can go slow or really, really fast. So I, you know, made some little little marks on the tile. And I have extra tiles, so if I make a mistake, I can do it. And then I made this little notch. Ready for the last piece. There we go. Wow, that's a great fit. That looks awesome. I've seen professionals do worse jobs. You did a great job. <clears throat> Alright, so now we got to do the back wall. I brought in this little light because without this light, I couldn't see back into this dark spot. So this light brings some light in there. So now I'm going to start doing the, the back, the literal back splash area. So I did this side because we're going to be cooking, so grease and stuff will be splattering on the walls. We're slowly making the progress. 
across the back wall here. So I got two pieces in and we're going to continue to put in another one and then I'll probably drop back and do this back in there. So you can see here there's imperfections in the, the wall waving in and out. That's why you could see a little bigger gap in the middle versus here it's tighter so if the wall's not perfect if it moves around this straight edge will show the imperfections in the wall fluctuating well that's what it is you can possibly get some kind of black silicone or gray silicone or silver silicone and squish it in there if you want it to cover that up which I may do just showing the progress up in this little cavity here not very easy to get your hand in there but the good thing is I can put in little pieces at a time and cut them to fit and they snug in there so we got a few more to go let's see one two three four five more rows and this will be done back there in the spot that nobody will see all right we're one done with back here not my proudest work but man I can't I can't even get my hand in there. It's like working with two fingers only. So, since that's the case, only other way is I could have took the oven hood off. But I didn't, so that's what we got. So, looks pretty good. So we're gonna move on, trim out under there, and then finish this. And then we got to cut around the outlet. Let's do it. We're moving right along here. All right, we went around the vent. As you can see, there's a little gapage here because this little piece here ends and then I'd have to cut a little tiny little sliver here and here and here to make it perfect. So that looks like it's a little bit more of a gap there. But we're going to definitely look into the silver caulking. Well, over here, it looks, looks great. Alright, and I didn't videotape me cutting this. It wasn't too difficult. Um, because you can, what you can do is use your straight edge to cut, up, cut along the, the the piece of uh, tile or whatever you're using and then I was able to cut several cuts to make it deep enough and then use the pliers to snap it on the cut so here was the goal to get it through this outlet and the way they designed this fastener for the outlet it's pretty easy to use you back it off enough to pull the thing out and this rotates 90 degrees so when it's tight it's like this and it's pinching the material that is your wall when you rotate to the left it swings out of the way up against the outlet and so you can pull it out so as long as you don't uh, unscrew it too far to where this white thing comes off it should be fine and even they got a little notch here so even if you do unscrew it a little bit too far, it might stay there. But all points being, as soon as you can pull the thing out, that's enough uh, to unscrew. And that's all you need. So that's what I did. So now I'm going to finish cutting this side. And then I can tighten this back up. So when you turn it to the right, push it all the way and you turn it to the right, this will spin into the right position and hold it, suck it in tight to the wall. So we're going to move on. To finish that detail and we're almost done with here we gotta do two more little pieces up there to finish it all the way out to the end of the wall and then we'll be done all right we're around the outlet this part was the beginning of the next piece where I will be piecing in these little pieces and then we cut on brand new piece in half and stuck it up here although these little pieces I have to break them individually because they're so small can't get any leverage to snap it so I have to get the plier 
and I put a little piece of protective tape on this tile and I grab it with the plier so let me find a piece so I'll put this here I use two hands of course then I bend it like that and there's that little piece that goes in right here just like that I have to finish those little pieces out we got one two three four one two three four to put in and then I'll piece these in but I got these little pieces laying around I can piece these in and then once those pieces are in the outlet snaps right on and that'll be done almost there we're done putting the tile in next thing we got to do is just put a little bit of grout or border boundary on some of the edges here the outlet's on looks great straighten it out a little bit we're all done with this this was believe it or not I don't even know exact I'll have to get the exact number over two hundred dollars in backsplash ridiculous it was like 15 bucks a square foot and we bought I don't know how many we bought we used them all up here it was over 200 bucks so stuff ain't cheap but it does look good now we have decided how far up the wall we're going we're gonna go this far across the whole thing so I put a piece of painters tape right here you know about a eighth of an inch below where our finishing points gonna be and this will keep us a guide to paint below the paint the uh, painters tape as far as the primer goes so we're going to prime this wall this whole wall I'm going to put another painters tape this way where we're going to stop I haven't put that up but I'm going to do that and I'm going to trim this piece off because um, that's where we're going to stop um, to go all the way to the wall we got to remove this piece as far as this trim piece goes I just took my utility knife cut it uh, several times trying not to cut over here cut it three or four times and then I pried it out here and then got a clean break right there and then our tile will end right on that that's our goal we got the primer applied now so now we can take off the painters tape and install the backsplash so the first piece we're gonna have to trim off this in a straight line and then we'll go all the way down till we get to the outlet then we'll have to do a little custom cutting all right we're rolling right along we got this cut done looks great now we're right behind the faucet so we got two and a half more pieces to go two pieces and then we'll cut around the outlet and get a straight line here and then we run the caulking and we'll be done all done cutting the tile in now we're gonna add some caulking
we just clean off the counter and caulk everything. All right, I think I'm done. Caulking is one of the one of the hardest things to do and make it look pretty. Again, I'm not a professional. I just have some experience with it, with caulking and roofing. I'm definitely not a caulking expert, but I think it looks pretty good. Alright, here. I had the worst time trying to get that caulk to look nice. Not fingered up or too fat definitely not easy We got all the sunlight coming in from the sun setting so it's a bright sunny day but it's also hot we got a high expected to 94 here in uh, East Central Florida but it's all done looks beautiful I hope that helped you out with uh, still on a backsplash again it's not about being perfect just a do it yourself -er. and i'm real happy with it thanks for watching rv weekends we'll see you next time <laughs>